I'm Dean. Know what I keep in the line. Better stay in line. Dixon Circle, South Dallas, stand up. What's up, world? It's Charlie Mo. Out to 214. Ride with me, ride, ride with me, baby. We cover my partner, Roy Lee. Roy Lee. Whole life story to the motherfucking team. To the motherfucking team. Gorgeous cheese. Get your friends, because we going in. Going in. Let me take you back to a place where it all began. Where it all began. Motherfucking Triple D. Triple D. Enjoy your life. Joking around me, I guess because I was so serious. I tried to be a serious side, so he was the one that tried to. Sad other, baby. Making beats and raps and stuff like we really finna make the beat. Grew up, together, went to school for first, y'all with the link. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, they used to call me Pee Wee before uh, Roy Lee and the cover and all that. You know what I'm saying? Real side out of the middle. It would have been funny since I'm talking about, man, me and him just get suspended together. I'm talking about sent to detention and all that, you know, making us, everybody laugh in the class. You know what I'm saying? So he he been doing that before the company thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about ever since we were young. It, 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 like, you know, we all grew up bad, but he was so bad, you couldn't get him no whooping. You couldn't, like, just get him in trouble. So he was so funny, like, you couldn't take him serious, man. You know me and Roy Lee, man, we, shit, man, we, been, we from the same hood. You know what I'm saying? So we've been knowing each other forever, you know what I'm saying? It was a joyful person. We never saw him mad, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to Percy. Everybody know about Percy, I just, uh, we always stay in the first house chambers and apartments, that's on dicks, you know. And uh, we always walk to school together, man, like I say, you know, even about a year or two older. But you know what I'm saying, we all mob together, you know what I mean, so. It's a lot of niggas to this day don't even know what dicks and look like. And they from Devils, you know what I mean? You know, you can get over there and you know nobody. Exactly. You know, it was tough on me, you know, we like family, we one street, you know what I mean? Yeah. Say, man, that street calls hell, man, you know. And we put it down for the city, man. So, yeah, your mama them didn't let you hang outside all day because, you know, these niggas up or whatever. If you're going to the wrong parking lot, you jack, you know, all that. You got to know where you're going, you know. So, you know, it was the jungle, man, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's just everything. <laughs> I don't know too many people don't know, but... Man, like, I know everybody got their own hood. Dixie was everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so me and Raleigh, we are, uh, everybody preferred doing their thing or whatever. And, uh, me and Raleigh, by the, if everybody know about Dallas, Texas, you know, they had a little arcade systems in the, in the thing. So, me and Raleigh, them in the thing, you know, we walking. At this time, it's a lot of gang bang. <coughs> everybody know during that time, you know, a lot of fighting and stuff like that. You know, it broke out, fight broke out and everything. But Cuz still just gonna make a joke about it, you know, because he looking at it like, man, I ain't nothing but a hundred pounds, you know what I'm saying? And y'all said it, but you know, he tall and dark, so you can't miss him, you know? But I think like that was his thing, you know what I'm saying? He looked at it like, you know, <coughs> come for them, you know, and laugh. Yeah, Ronnie, Ronnie, fight, you know, we ran together. You know what I'm saying? So we all, I'm from Bunto, I'm from the other side. See, Ronnie from this. So they were Crips over there and we were Bloods and we was at. So they just, really. you had to fight when we was at. They were really and they took out that they set them on them nigga. Beat them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's Nah, bro, big gangster, bro, that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can go up there after, after uh, school. Yeah. If you're going to go up there after school, you can't be up there doing all that playing. You can't go up there. <laughs> so when you we, we, I had a girl run track. Ooh, man, I miss her, too. <laughs> so, yeah, I, went up, I, I went back up there to wait on her because my mom, you know what I'm saying? Skinny Minnie, what's up, Charlie? I'm going to come and first. Like, I'm on my YouTube watching this shit. You better get your YouTube. YouTube you watching. Cry. You know what I mean? He's scared. I'm going to cry. 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 Tell the story, 
And so they was naming everybody in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, giving their shots out and shit. He went and to a police academy and he didn't become a police officer. In the cycle with them. He failed. So he the failed. niggas was walking around, bro, walking around Dixon with a list. You know what I'm saying? Like, they say, nigga, we finna make a diss record on everybody they name. And, and I don't nigga, know, everybody YouTube, in the hood. Watching this shit. So, like, you come up to one of them. It was a lady. This is funny shit. It was a lady who worked in the wreck, man, Miss Elgin. So she put Raleigh in her acting a fool. She put Raleigh out. Raleigh pulled out his list. You know what? Your name on the list too. Wrote her name. You know what I'm saying? Wrote her name on the list. Niggas was hot about that because they thought they were going to make a real diss song. But that shit was about right that. Like, I remember that shit like it was yesterday. Bro, that nigga put that lady's name on that list. Man, I was in her crime, man. I was dying, man, when that nigga put her name on that list, man. Boy, from the South, he, we, we actually went to the same high school. We both went to Lincoln. So like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of knew about him just because he was just a funny guy on the block around the way. Like people just started getting on him. Like we've been, we've been, you know, seeing what they seeing now. We've been seeing that back then. No, nah, it was natural. <coughs> he could just say something or just look at you. You just gonna start laughing. That's the way to go. Oh man, why did y'all cut it off, man? Fly guy. I was a day late. I, I was, I, I was for the pain. I was for the pain and shit. That's what I'm saying. Y'all y'all don't ever have patience. Y'all had patience when I paid at first. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, all of what the last three of my card. Three, two, four, I think it's three. Th yes, ma'am. <coughs> okay. God damn. They said they should have turned it back on, man. Damn, well, I gotta really go to do a whole lot of shit. You know, I can't even do shit, fool. They got the whole bunch of fucking life. They cut it off. I've been knowing Raleigh since we were kids. We went to Pearl City together and uh, Lincoln. They used to ride the bus every day. <laughs> but that's just funny because he's funny. They used to ride the bus to Pleasant Grove. He used to wear these big nugget earrings and all these goals in his mouth. This tall, skinny black dude. I met him walking the bus with my homegirl. We hanging out, chilling, <coughs> and all I know, he just came out of nowhere and approached me. It was like, "You, I want to talk to you." And I was looking around like, "Who me?" And I go over to his house and uh, just hang out with him. His mom will be there, you know. Sometimes she'll be uh, cooking or whatnot, and it, it was just mo mostly like a high school sweetheart type of thing. And the uh, we had Jacob, and so that was just hard right there. Like, like we was like the best of friends, man. Like that was like a person that I could really connect with, that I could talk to without him you know, yelling at me or something like that. You know what I'm saying? We just real, we had a real good bond. I thought he was always funny. Everything he said was just funny. Him yelling at us, trying to be friends, was just plain funny. Sometimes he be so extra, like they just need you yelling. <laughs> I thought, in my personal opinion, I thought he was funny too. My name is Joyce Sunshine Payton. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was funny too. Like, he was funny too. 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 Watch it the other night, that good. I'm watching it again. I had to buy it on here too. I had bought it on my phone, but I bought it on here too. Uh, so I can watch it again. You know, he wanted to be. Yeah, that's my that's my like four times watching, but I watch watching it back to back. He put me on there, I was like, because at first I didn't like it. I was like, what is this? <coughs> and the dude, I was like, I like the new stuff. But then, like, he really put me on the old school. He, like, seriously, like, he, like, listens to, like, jazz and blues. And my mama, if you're going to put a deep in the sleep and stuff, but when you come, they go to sleep at 9 o'clock on the time. He put on jazz on the TV, and he make all the way down, and I just go to sleep and listen to jazz music. And you go through, you know, you bring some clothes, shoes, and everything. So, you know, uh, he was on, he was on, you know, and I he loved to shop. 
That nigga can't bargain shop. He probably could. Bitch couldn't read. I don't know his mouth. You hear me? That boy had. He had six outfits for this baby. Six outfits for this baby. Six outfits for this baby. And and six for this baby. And two shirts for him. All for like three hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Everything name brand type shit. Man, he took care of everybody around. He he loved everybody. I'm talking about he took care of me like we were real nephew. Because at first, just me and Roy Lee, we were just the city. We, we, we did everything. I'm talking about, I didn't been there when, I'm, I'm talking about when he first met his baby mama. When he, I'm talking about from the first video. <laughs> I'm talking about before the video even started. I told, I'm, I'm going to want to, you need to start recording yourself. You, 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 come on, man. You, you. That nigga sound like Roy Lee, too. Because I'm talking about the baby boy. He's not. He gonna make video about it. But this girl, I went to this girl house, she didn't have multiple trials in the bed. I said, I see him probably on the wall, but guy in the bed, mama, come on now. Boy, you act like you're on some wake or something. Man, this shit is like a beast. <laughs> Go take a bath. Wow, the bed bugs, these are bed bugs that's been biting me. I know what's the difference between a bed bug and a roll 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 and Roy had a clean ass lick too. He used to do the cons lick. I give you three hundred dollars right now to go to cons. I used to do the cons lick too. And then he'll sell the first. Sell that's TVs what and shit. Like, that's why he was making money. He was selling furniture and shit. Like, that boy was a hustler. Big hustle. Even the lady started started getting money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he be like, "Hey man, you know somebody, you know, want to make some money?" Like, yeah, they got a bank account. Now nah, we'll take go get a bank account. Yeah, hey, hey, do you want to fail? Hey, you want to fail? It's like, they money. You know, we split it. <laughs> we do shit like that, you know. I fuck my credit up. Fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in the phone with that. I don't see you, man. I'm in the parking lot, man. <coughs> yeah, I got my jacket on on the shit. Okay, I'll see you right here. Well, I, I like his, his skits him. because he was really doing a lot yeah, of the scamming man. shit, too. <laughs> he was really doing, doing it. Just making fun of it, though. It's just fun as hell. All right, yo, who were fine in this shit? Okay, come over here. Come over here. Hey, y'all for the cash this whole thing. Dang, cash is a two, three thousand dollar check. Hey, bring it for the shit. Y'all get the likes up, share the live, share the live, share the live. Some kind of video. You know, not even just in Dallas. You know, when I talk to niggas, yeah, we don't have to be at home. Austin, you know, from Fort Worth, they say, yeah, that nigga Wally from Dallas, you know him? You know what I'm saying? Because he was making noise. You know yeah, that Bentley shit do him over the top. That was bad, motherfucker. Motherfucking Bentley, man. How did you, how did you get these? Man, fuck you, man. Hey, I'm gonna die like I put the, all the income tax money on this bitch, man. Get in, get in, baby. Mama, you put what? Get in, get in. You put all my money. Get in. 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 Cali Vega, I remember. That was one of the, the, the main videos that caught my attention. So from that point, I was just like, wow, you know. And he kind of like blew up from that video. I'm talking about the likes, the shares. <laughs> like, man, it was crazy. So at that point, I was just like, wow, you know, I got to work with him, you know. Yeah, this nigga, this nigga gonna freeze in the damn bathroom, boy. Shit, crazy. <laughs> you already filmed this nigga, too. <laughs> 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 Hello? Who you on the phone with? Is that a bitch? Hello? <laughs> Are you trying to be funny? Boom, 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 boom. You practicing what? 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 You practicing what
Turn it off, man. I'm talking about like when he walked in the podcast before we even started earn, you know what I'm saying? He was a clown. He came in with his cup, got got the step, and I was like, man, this guy's a fool. And he was like, What's up? Hit that. Oh, what's up? He already knew what's up, baby. Man, I went to his Facebook page and he got like thousands of views. And I put together a whole production, put an outfit on it, and get like 15 black. So I was like, who is this? Right? Same comedian, but he ain't really That cool talk, talk man. I, I, you know, I used to have a little comedy club. So I called myself, gonna reach out to him, see if he wanna do a little stand up. And what's so inspiring is it took four people to get to him through me, for me. And that was so inspiring. Because me and you called our answer. But in business, if you can't touch the person, that I means they really doing good. So I kind of took that from my plan. And I was kind of far along on my journey. So um, his first little comedy real scene, I brought Pierre from uh, How to Be a Player. He did a pool party for him with EZ and uh, Roy Lee hosted. And I said, well, I'm going to put you on game. We did another show. Him, Michael Sean from K104 Radio, and what he did a thing again. You know, when he, he, he picked up that cell phone and started recording himself, that was the best thing that ever happened to him. <coughs> that, um, you know, he didn't know that it was going to take him that far, you know, but he was so good at what, what he did, he was a natural. Man, wrong, uncut. You know, if it offends you, fuck it. A motherfucking grinder, man. You know what I mean? He was he was really the most consistent comedian, you know, when it came to online video. I was doing basically the same thing Roy was doing, but you know, from the Houston standpoint, you know what I'm saying? You know, we wasn't wearing no Yeah, my, I forgot what his you name know, was. That's that's how we really just jail. Yeah, really type of videos is more of a, a in your face type of comedy versus hits or something, but he his his dry, <laughs> like witty hood sense of humor wasn't like thought out. It was just fresh out the door. Off the door. Way, you know, and, and it was in the hood and and you embrace it. And then next time you know you waiting for another video that yeah, goes, yeah, boost fade. 
just very unique, you know. And I was like, okay. Me and my kid for Ray Gunner, we got him in a skit, like on our videos and who you with. He played the referee in there, like that shit was funny in the bitch. The comedian. Did you see that motherfucker? Yeah. And he just go, he goofy in the big like regular, like uh, but like it just came down to like when none of that shit playing, we were just going like when he say we just respond like shit in real life, like he just going off the top of the head like funny. I do though, but cheer the line, yeah. No, you. As he starts to progress, we start to keep you on the same fly, same ticket, same club, same venue. Even though whether he was hosted or he was just a guest. Everything you take, y'all know I'm taking top up. So everything you take. Chill, man. So with the yellow ass. You know, I started helping him with bookings and putting his image together, and you know, and just support any kind of way I could with building his brand. And then I said, "Bro, I gotta get you pizza." I said, bro, you don't, you don't know how hot you is, dog. I said, I don't get y'all hungry. Yeah. Well, hey. He left. And then the next time he came back, he came back with more free. This time, he said, stay. Now, fuck what I had a lot of money. I'm down here. Our city the shit. I fuck with my city, hear me? Yeah. I just want my city to come on, man. There's so many niggas underground that ain't came out, that, that's hot. It's, my city hot. How do that, man? That's Roy Lee. I said, that's Roy Lee? Like, yeah, he's from Dallas. We had a work relationship. It's dry, like, witty hood sense of humor. It wasn't like thought out. Off the top, like, you know, everybody know he was, like, on his way. Michael Blackston fired up Roy so bad, so it was like, 
man, I'm talking about, like, you had to be at the show to understand, like, it was classic, dog. And to see him going head to head with, like, top dog, like, because those legends, them goats of that game, of that field. He was just going off the top of the head, like, funny in the bed. He like, nah, I'm on another level with this shit now. Man, when Boosie came down here, Roy Lee went to the uh, show where Boosie was at. He's like, yeah, I'm finna go full up. <laughs> Smile every day. From what the police said, the, the man that was shooting was walking towards the car. And he was shooting towards, and thank God, like, he didn't hit the window or anything. He could have killed me. Or my son. He FaceTimed me, and like, I got shot. And I was like, what? And he wouldn't tell me. Who in the fuck shot you? What happened? And she just started crying. And I was like, what's wrong with you? And she was like, man, Roy gone. Wanted because I know how bad he wanted it. That's all he ever wanted, so. Genius, pure genius. I heard about it though, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really couldn't believe it. That's something you can't even really get back, another one really, a soul like that, not for real. I, I, man. I feel when I watch his videos, when people say, you just like smile every day, it makes me think about him. Enjoy like smile every day. To my city, Dallas, Texas, man, the whole goddamn Metro Plex. You know what I mean? My city, man. I love my city. Best thing going since hoes on. Be rocking and moving, keep kicking and cool with the motherfuckers you be kicking and cooling with, man. The best thing going. Boom! I don't hate nigga ass. Baby cover my partner Roy Lee. Roy Lee. Whole life story to the motherfucking teeth. To the motherfucking teeth. Some gorgeous cheese. Get your friends, cause we going in. Going in. Let me take you back to a place where it all begins. Where it all begins. Motherfucking triple D. Triple D. Music by C Scrub, music by Money Man Rado. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your Joking around me, I guess that's how I was so serious. I tried to be a serious side, so he was the one that tried to. Say it out, baby. Uh, 
chilling and relaxing, man. You know, drinking my favorite drink, thinking and thinking. Thinking and thinking. Together, getting ready. <laughs> it's going down. Hey! Hey! hey. Sat out of me, though. It would have been funny since I'm talking about, man, me and him just get suspended together. I'm talking about sent to detention and all that, you know, making us, everybody laugh in the class, you know what I'm saying? So he he been doing that before the company thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about ever since we were young. It, 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 like, you know, we all grew up bad, but he was so bad, you couldn't get him no whooping. You couldn't, like, just get him in trouble. So he was so funny, like, you couldn't take him serious, man. You know me and Roy Lee, man, we shit, man. We been we from the same hood. You know what I'm saying? So we've been knowing each other forever, you know what I'm saying? It was a joyful person. We never saw him mad. You know what I'm saying? We all went to Percy. Everybody know about Percy Anderson. Uh we all stayed in Prince Hall Chambers and Parvis, that's on Dixon. You know, and uh, we always walk to school together, man. Like I say, you know, he was about a year or two older. But you know what I'm saying? We all mob together. You know what I mean? So. It's a lot of niggas to this day don't even know what Dixon look like. And they from Devils. You know what I mean? You know, you can't <coughs> over there and you know nobody. Exactly. You know, it was tough on there. You know, we like family. We one street. You know what I mean? Yeah. Say, man, that street calls hell, man. You know? And we put it down for the city, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your mama them didn't let you hang outside all day because, you know, these niggas up or whatever. If you're going to the wrong parking lot, you jam, you know, all that. You got to know where you're going, you know. So, you know, it was the jungle, man, you know, you know what I'm saying? This is everything. <laughs> I don't know too many people don't know, but... Man, like, I know everybody got their own hood. Dixon was everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so me and Riley, we are, uh, everybody preferred doing their thing or whatever. And, uh, me and Riley, if everybody know about Dallas, Texas, you know, they had a little arcade systems in the, in the thing. So, me and Riley, them in the thing, you know, we walking. At this time, it's a lot of game bang. <coughs> everybody know during that time, you know, a lot of fighting and stuff like that. You know, it broke out, fight broke out and everything. But could still just to make a joke about it, you know, because he looking at it like, man, I ain't nothing but a hundred pounds, you know what I'm saying? And y'all said it, but you know, he tall and dark, so you can't miss him, you know? But I think like that was his thing, you know what I'm saying? He looked at it like, you know, <coughs> come for them, you know, and laugh. Yeah, Ronnie, Ronnie, fight, you know, we ran together. You know what I'm saying? So we all, I'm from Bunto. I'm from the other side. See, Ronnie from this. So they were Crips over there and we were Bloods and we was at. So you had to fight when we was at. Look at Royal Lee, you know Lee had to check out that they sell on them niggas. I don't understand that when you get inside of the you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's just a Nah, bro, been gangster before that. The only thing you can go up there after, after uh, school, yeah. if you're a <laughs> Crips, you can't be up there doing all that playing. You can't go up there. <laughs> so when you, we, I had a beer run track. Ooh, man, I miss it too. <laughs> so, yeah, I went up, I, I went back up there to wait on him because my mom, you know, my mom, she was going to be nice. Okay. Skinny Minnie, what's up, Charlie? I'm on my YouTube watching this shit. You better get your YouTube watching. He's scared. 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 He's
They went to the gym and got everybody else and came back. What up, though, sweetheart? Then you baseball season, so I think it's a baseball work. Baseball season. But y'all say, put down the bed, I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> so they uh, left the gym. <laughs> then that's when some of them went to the graveyard. Yeah. Hot and hit. These niggas hit. And then they had seen like three or four to chase us to the radio. So we were walking because the girl said, Which way y'all walk? I said, Damn, we might walk to. I said, Yeah, we're going to walk to. Uh, we're going to walk in the grave. Yeah. So just because if you walk around, you're going to see Blue Bird. Or, you know, so you're going to go around everybody. Everybody can see you. So I said, We're going to go to the graveyard. Not knowing these niggas hide. <laughs> so they, I look at some of them niggas. I can see the niggas. <laughs> I said, yeah, come on, Chris. I said, get back, back, back. I'm going to go to the radio. What's up, blood? 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 What's <laughs> they made a rap song. They made a rap song. And so they was naming everybody in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, giving their shots out and shit. He went and to a police academy and he and didn't become a police officer. In the cycle He failed. So the niggas was walking around, bro, walking around Dixon with a list. You know what I'm saying? Like, they say, nigga, we finna make a diss record on everybody they name. And I don't know on YouTube, the they been watching this shit. So, like, you come up to one of them, it was a lady, this is funny shit. There was a lady that worked in the wreck, man, Miss Elgin. So she put Wally in her acting a fool. She put Wally out. Wally pulled out his list. You know what? Your name on the list, too. Wrote her name, you know what I'm saying? Wrote her name on the list. They were hot about that because they thought they were going to make a real diss song, but that shit was about that. Like, I remember that shit like it was yesterday, bro. I nigga put that lady's name on that list, man. I was in her crime, man. I was dying, man, when that nigga put her name on that list, man. Boy from the South, he, we, we actually went to the same high school. We both went to Lincoln. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of knew about him just because he was just a funny guy on the block around the way. Like, people just started getting on him. Like, we've been, we been, you know, seeing what they seeing now. We've been seeing that back then. No, nah, it was natural. <laughs> He can just say something or just look at you. You just gonna start laughing. That's where to go. Oh man, why did y'all cut it off, man? Fly guy. I was a day late. I was I was for the pain. I was for the pain of shit. That's what I'm saying. Y'all y'all don't ever have patience. Y'all had patience when I paid at first. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm saying. I'm just all of what the last three of my card. Three, two. Lee Payton the third. He named him the fourth. I played this song the other day for Joy. 
He used to sing that song to her. Joy in the name is like sunshine. That's what she got her name. Spanking things, but I think she knocked off. He's about his kids. And he's about his kids. Watch the other night, that good. I'm watching it again. I had to buy it on here too. I had bought it on my phone, but I bought it on here too. Uh, so I can watch it again. Yeah, it might, it might like four times watching it, but I watch it back to back. Because at first I like, he like seriously like he like listen to like jazz and blues and my mama if you're not gonna get them to sleep and stuff but when you come they go to sleep at nine o'clock all the time he put on jazz on the tv and he make all the way down they all just go to sleep and listen to jazz music and he's gonna show you now you bring some clothes shoes and everything uh, you know, uh, he's he loves to shop. That nigga can't bargain shop. He probably could bitch couldn't read. <coughs> I don't know his math, you hear me? That's for Adam. He has six outfits for this baby, six outfits for this baby, six outfits for this baby, and, and six for this baby, and two shirts for him. Out for like three hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? Everything name brand type shit. Man, he took care of everybody around. He, he loved everybody. I'm talking about he took care of me like we were real nephews. Because at first, just me and Roy from Jug City, we 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 did it. I'm talking about. I didn't been there. When, I'm, I'm talking about when he first met his baby mama. When he, I'm talking about from the first video. <laughs> I'm talking about before the video even started. I told, I'm I'm gonna want to. You need to start recording yourself. You you you. you. Come on, man. You, you, you. That nigga sound like we're on there, too. Because I'm talking about the bed, but he's not, he going to make video about it. Because this girl, I went to this girl house, had, didn't have ropes to try to be in I said, I see a problem on the wall, but in the, in the bed, mama, come on now. Boy, you act like you're on some wake or something. Yeah, this shit is like a beast. I'm tired. Go take a bath. Wow, the bed bugs, these are bed bugs that's been biting me. I know what's the difference between a bed bug and a roll and a roll and a bagger. Nah, them hoes stand on me. I ain't got no shit. motherfucking bed bug. No motherfucking bed bug. No motherfucking bed bug is biting me. There ain't no mosquito in here. <laughs> See the CDs or something at first when I first ran into him. And I used to fuck with it because I, hey man, I seen this, I bought 20 CDs. Getting home on now, one of them motherfuckers work. <laughs> <laughs> Roy had a clean ass lick too. He used to do the cons lick. I give you three hundred dollars right now to go to cons. I used to do the cons lick too. And then he'll sell the first. Sell that's TVs what and shit. Doing. Like, that's why he was making. <laughs> he was selling furniture and stuff like that. That boy was a hustler. Big hustle. He was in the lady started getting money. You know what I'm saying? He be like, "Hey man, you know somebody? You know want to make some money?" I'm like, yeah. They got a bank account. Now nah, we'll take go get a bank account. Yeah, hey, do you want to pay them? Hey, you want to pay them? You take their money. You know, we split it. <laughs> we do shit like that, you know. I fuck my credit up. Fuck with him. You know, <laughs> you know, on the phone with that. Crazy. I don't <laughs> see you, man. I'm in the parking lot, man. <coughs> yeah, I got to back it on the shit. Okay, I'll see you right here. Well, I, I like his, his skits because he was really doing a lot yeah, of the scamming man. shit, too. <laughs> he was really doing it. You know? Just making fun of it, though. It's just funny as hell. All right, yo, who were fine in this shit? Okay, come over here. Come over here. Hey, yo, for the cash, it's okay. Dang, cash is a two, three, five dollar check, man. Bring it for the shit. Y'all get the likes up, share the live, share the live, share the live. Share the live. Some kind of video. <coughs> you know, not even just in Dallas. You know, when I talk to niggas, yeah, when I'm on that bill. Austin, you know, from Fort Worth, they say, yeah, that nigga Wally from Dallas, you know him, you know what I'm saying, because he was making noise. You know yeah, that Bentley shit do him over the top. That was bad, motherfucker. Motherfucking Bentley, man.
video. Cali Vega, I remember. And that was one of the, the, the main videos that caught my attention. So from that point, I was just like, wow, you know. And he kind of like blew up from that video. I'm talking about the likes, the shares. <laughs> like, man, it was crazy. So at that point, I was just like, wow. You know, I got to work with him, you know. <laughs> yeah, this thing, this thing gonna freeze in the damn bathroom, boy. Sick crazy. <laughs> you already filmed this nigga too. <laughs> 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 oh, Hello. <laughs> Who you on the phone with? Is that a bitch? Hello? <laughs> Are you trying to be funny? Boom, 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 boom. Drop your big body. You practicing what? What you want to make? You got to go. So who is this on the motherfucking phone? I'm on my motherfucking phone. I'm on my motherfucking phone. Bitch, I got you. Man, you tripping. You trying to. Wait, why? I'm trying to go and watch me. Yeah, it's nothing that you can say because everything is fucking recorded. There's nothing that you can say. Who's that? Who was there on the phone? Why are you playing on practicing something? I'm trying to get active. You know, I ain't the one running. You know, like, you know, came up for a bill. You know, you got 10 minutes to call back. So I put out ABB on running. On the radio. I was like, hey, man. We are looking for Brian Lee Payton. Call the radio station ASAP. Bro, call me the hell out. You know what it is? Damn, bro, I need it. Somebody said y'all were looking for me or something like that. And they talk about stuff. I said, hey, man. All the way you broke, bro. Man, you are the funniest on planet Earth, bro. To me. I said, bro, that fake car? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the next show. Mike, man, I'm going to pick you up on that. Damn, man, how many cars? You got, you got all these goddamn cars. If you use the car, you ain't got no motherfucking car. Damn. Mike, that's Come on, man. I know that shit. I know this shit, dude. This ain't your motherfucking car. This a fake car. Oh. Come on, man. This the law, Mike. <coughs> man, look at the snitch. I'm going to snitch. I'm going to give you a ride. Sir, this is not my car. This is his car, sir. Yes, sir. No, this ain't no <laughs> yes, man. I ain't, man, I ain't do nothing, sir. Man, man, this shit, they're fucked up. Man, I just be trying to do white life, man. Oh, damn, man. I'm going to just give it a ride. Damn, this fucked up, man. But so crazy, what you seen is that was him on and off the camera. Like it wasn't no, hey, let me turn it on for this. Let me turn it off. Man, I'm talking about like when he walked in the podcast before we even started earn, you know what I'm saying? He was a clown. He came in with his cup, got, got the step, and I was like, man, this guy's a fool. And he was like, what's up? Hit that. Oh, what's up? He already knew. What's up, baby? Man, I went to his Facebook page and he got thousands of views and I put together a whole production for the outfit on and get like 15 black I was like, who is this? Right? Say comedian, but he ain't really That cool talk, man, I, you know, I used to have a little comedy club so I called myself gonna reach out to him, see if he wanna do a little stand-up. And what's so inspiring is it took four people to get to him through me for me and that was so inspiring because me and you called our answer but in business if you can't touch the person that mean they really doing good so i kind of took that from my life and i was kind of far along on my journey so um this first little comedy real scene i brought pierre from uh how to be a player he did a pool party for him with ez and uh um, royally hosted and I said, well, I'm going to put you on game. We did another show. 
him, Michael Sean from K104 Radio, and whether he did a thing again. You know, when he, he, he picked up that cell phone and started recording himself, that was the best thing that ever happened to him. <coughs> that, um, <clears throat> you know, he didn't know that it was going to take him that far, you know, but he was so good at what, what he did, he was a natural. Man, wrong, uncut. You know, if it offends you, fuck it. A motherfucking grinder, man. You know what I mean? He was he was really the most consistent comedian, you know, when it came to online video. I was doing basically the same thing Roy was doing, but you know, from the Houston standpoint, you know what I'm saying? You know, we weren't wearing no Yeah, my, I forgot what his you name was. That's that's how we really just jailed. Yeah, really. Type of videos is more of a, a in your face type of comedy versus skits or something. But he was his dry, like <laughs> witty hood sense of humor wasn't like thought out. It was just fresh out the door. Off the door. Way, you know, and, and it was in the hood. And, and you embrace it. And then next thing you know, you waiting for another video to get yeah, gold, get yeah, a boost of fade. It was very unique, you know. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, me and my kid for go we got him in a skit like on our videos that who you with he played the referee and they were like that shit was funny bitch. Oh, 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 the the comedian and then he just go, he goofy in the bitch like regular, like uh, but like it just came down to like when none of that shit playing, we were just going like what he say we just respond like shit in real life, like he just going off top of the head like funny. I do it though, but sure to love, yeah. No, you. Yeah. <laughs> As he starts to progress, we start to keep me on the same fly, same ticket, same club, same venue. Even though whether he was hosted or he was just a guest. Everything you take, y'all know I'm taking top of it. So everything you take. So my ass with so them yellow ass You know, teeth. I started helping him with bookings and putting his image together and, you know, and just support any kind of way I could with building his brand. And then I said, bro, I got to get you to speak, I said, bro, you don't, you don't know how hot you is, dog. I said, hey, I don't get y'all hungry. Yeah. He left. And then next time he came back, he came back with more free. This time. Yeah, I 
Let me try to tell you this money. And these young ass niggas start acting funny. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Bro, bro, bro. Come on, man. 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 Why you trying to tell me? I'm just, I'm just, you know, 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 I'm I said, yeah, yeah, lay my, lay my, lay my. One of these things I remember seeing was when uh, <coughs> Lucy got a seat, you know, and then they called him uh, Hitchy Cruz ahead. So I think that's really just really elevated his career because he started uh, cracking jokes on the on the rap. Y'all was just making fun of Roy Lee, fuckers. Y'all know this is a You know what I mean? Boots was fucking with me today. It's, it's, it's an old picture. But nigga, I don't know who had your motherfucking phone. You know what I mean? I don't know who had your phone. I don't know nobody saying that I'm picking at nobody because I don't pick at nobody on my comedian shit. So he voted to this and said I look like a PT Cruiser. Who you look like? Okay, I look like a PT Cruiser. Okay, who, 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 what kind of car you look like? A uh, grand big grandma keeps driving face ass. They don't give a damn about you got some motherfucking money. You know what I mean? Okay, I do what you seen. Yeah, I love my niggas. Okay, go with it. Just then, okay, what with it? Wax smoking. Just let me pound a sporting. <laughs> <laughs> this shit like that. I think like he got he got a lot more followers after that shit too though. I feel like that that shit was live in the bitch. It was funny the bitch too to see Boosie like you know what I'm saying? You see a nigga from my city type shit. When well, a nigga out his ass though, that shit was funny in the bitch. You know what? It was already circulating with PT Cruiser and Ron Lee Faye. So you know when Boosie got in, he straight out man. It's like he was gas up that day. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I, I just got my <laughs> that is, like that virus man. shit. It's like just even from my experience, you, you ain't never read it when it hits you. And so when it hits you, it's like, oh, you, you gotta go tackle that. Yeah, you gotta tackle that. So Boosie, yeah, he had to get up to. Man, when Boosie came down, I heard Ron Lee went to the uh show where Boosie was in. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go pull up. <laughs> I don't know why, baby, was enjoying life for me. But it ain't the way they do. Why y'all hate us so mad? I don't know why, baby, was enjoying life for me. But it ain't the way they do. Why y'all hate us so mad? This is a simple part of Dallas. You know, I, if you knew about that part, you wouldn't expect him to have his little GQ look. Little lady, little booty slacks, and then I talked. Uh, they had a little fit together, and then they had a mouthful of gold with booty slacks. And, it, and it's very hard to grasp. Like a real clean hood, nigga. That's what they were. He always been funny. Like, when I think about him, I can do it later. He always been a character. You know what I'm saying? And I remember one time I told him, I said, I said, boy, you love me. He told me, boy, I still fuck your bitch. <laughs> For real, y'all was just in this, like, this motherfucking legless sea cricket looking at that nigga talking about somebody <laughs> ugly. Shit, your <laughs> bitch ass up, boy. What, nigga? Okay, what's crazy as hell, boy. Fucking hating that niggas. The more I look at it, the more I see how they really hating on Roy Lee. That's the word when I tell you. Why, 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 Grabbing me, he grabbing me. 
hey, we talking about swinging and swinging. You understand me? My face all right. I'm still looking all right. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go fuck this bitch. <coughs> yeah. I'm going to fuck this bitch tomorrow. Don't call. Don't break up. And don't hit up. And that's what this is about. And the best thing going since all corn. And I don't give a damn about uh, getting whooped or getting like that. Because I know it's a whole lot of rappers out here that be putting out guns saying this is what they do. Yeah, we know a lot of people that be pulling out guns before a whole fight and say this is what they do and then cry in jail. So what we're going to say here and do here is uh, laugh at the people that share it, but they don't share the video of mine. So they let me know. Like, nah, for oh, real. See a nigga get killed, a nigga get hurt. Nah, like, for real. Going to the play about weeks. And I'm Seen him. <laughs> Crib nigga, man. And I get off of his four neighbors. I said, H and R block, dog. Hit the goddamn, uh, goddamn landlord. I'm like, hey, bro, let me buy this H and R block. He let me buy it out. So all my employees, like, I say, listen, I need somebody that's really popping in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? To do my marketing with. They like, hit up Royal Lee. It's a nigga named Royal Lee, man. Hit up Royal Lee. So I'm like, all right. So I go on Facebook. I hit Royal Lee up. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know if it's true, man. My nigga was so good with the finesse. You know what I'm saying? Royally said, man, I got this lady already offered me 1200 <coughs> in her tax office. Smooth I'm like, bet, nigga, I need 1500 He like, where you at? What's the address? So, boom, I shot my nigga the address. He pulled up on my girl the 1500 You know what I'm saying? He was going to market my tax office for me. We ended up going out to a restaurant to a bar. To watch the Clemson game. I done bet this nigga the 1500 back so I can try to get my money back and get the marketing for free. You feel me? So boom, Clemson ended up got down winning. Alabama lose. I get this nigga another 1500. That nigga said, God damn, what's your name again? What's your name again? <laughs> hey, my nigga said, hey, how you the living? I'll be saying, Lamb, nigga, man. Hey, <laughs> Look at him. He's for more. You know what I'm saying? You I, I seen it different, but then those were the, those were the best ones because it was like, you know what I mean? He got he got restaurants dealing with him. He got he got people endorsing him and dealing like man, this dude is doing business. Business, baby. Let go, Pharaoh. Let go, Pharaoh. I like I like they put me on that one. I'm a good. Let me wind that tape. But then those were let go, Pharaoh. Damn, what's your name? Big fear with that bitch. We talking business, you know what I'm saying? Big hey, business. Is, hey, Big business, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, nigga. Hey, you alive. He was hungry for Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I see hungry, nigga. Damn, nigga. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, yes, let me now for real. Yes, that big business in the bit. My nigga buy some business, man. 
You dig? You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yes to me now. Business. I like that part. Look at that part. Hey, my yeah, nigga said, hey, how you the lit? I'm yeah. this Atlanta nigga, man. Hey, you were lying. And me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen it different. Don't care what you Those were the best ones. It's like, you know what I mean? Big got business in the business. He got, he got people endorsing him and dealing like that. This dude is doing business. Business. Yeah. Hold on. Look at it. So you niggas can see it on me. Boom, oh, boom. I shot my nigga ass and he pulled up on my nigga the 1500. Look at that. Watch this shit. Check this out. Gotta get my money back and get the marketing for free. Man. So boom, Clemson this. ended up goddamn winning. Alabama lose. Had to get this nigga another 1500. That nigga said, God damn, what's your name again? <laughs> hey, my nigga said, hey, how you the lit? I'm this Atlanta nigga, man. Hey. Double double. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I see it different, but then those yeah. were the, those were the best ones. It's just like you know, smile every day. He got best ones. Yeah. He got people endorsing him and dealing like this dude is doing business. Business. Fucking business, nigga. Slap your mama good. Slap your mama good. <laughs> okay. Damn. Business. That's money. Promoting other people's business, y'all. It's money. It's doing promo. Money. This is what I love relief for. Business. Hey, how much is it, man? And it's just, he just wanted to make people laugh. And he just wanted to be famous for making people laugh. That's all he wanted. He didn't care about. He didn't care how much money they paid on tenant. I'm like, really stop stop charging these people under, under the table for uh your videos and stuff i got a contract i'm gonna send them a contract just tell them to send you know to email me now i'm just charging i'm gonna just charge you know 500 he, he just throw it now sweet sweet you know what i'm saying like stuff like that so you know it was like you know he he, he showed a lot of love and i just i just feel like you know it was gonna get greater the world was about to see it you know